Good, we can pass. Here's Yay! the kitchen. There's enough room to feed a dozen people in here. Yes, according to the newspaper, the judge's wife also feeds her pupils, in addition to teaching them. Mm. Interesting. God, I keep moving the window. There's something interesting here. An orla. All right, nothing to see here. What do you think? Cooking oil. <clears throat> this classroom is magnificent. These children are very lucky. Indeed. We're going to school. We're going to school. Can you hear that? Oh, God. Okay. There is some connection between cities and numbers on top of the box, but I lack the necessary information to obtain the solution. All right, so I guess we got to go look through the classroom. My love, I am leaving this note for you to find as soon as you return home. I will likely not be here when you get back, for I have become involved in an extremely important affair, and it is this which is the cause of my recent absences. Seeing the nature and impact of my current inquiry, I must obtain an interview with the Prime Minister without further delay. The security of the country itself is at stake, but please do not be alarmed, my dear. Enjoy your trip with your pupils, and speaking of pupils, it would seem that one of them is taking two of my orlocks. You know how much these souvenirs mean to me. They represent the greatest triumph of my youth in the New York Boat Race Championship. I should be grateful if you would do everything possible to find them. I also noticed that the sweet cupboard has been vandalized. I have always supported you in your venture and your humanitarian work, and I know how difficult it is to break the bad habits with which these street children have picked up. But perhaps you could teach them to respect other people's property before teaching them to read. It's reasonable. That is very reasonable. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's wedding day. Yeah. All right, nothing here. Oh, I gotta go around. My dear daughter, by marrying Lord Beckett, you have made me a happy father. What better husband could I wish for my only daughter? None. Lord Beckett is an honest man who believes in justice. He is also honorable and incorruptible, a rare quality indeed. When I recall my initial retestance at allowing you to depart for India, I regret my paternal protectiveness, for I have come to admire your perseverance and your strong will. For indeed, it is your kindness and your dedication towards the destitute, or the destitute, ugh, brain is still hyper, destitute children that led you to voluntary work in those dilapidated orphanages in Bombay. And it is a quality... Ugh, I am tired. And it is equally this altruistic engagement that led you to meet the man who was destined to become your husband. If you had listened to your stubborn old father, you would never have left England, and you would have never have met Lord Beckett. Now that you are back in England and your husband has set up a schoolroom for you in his house, I hope to see more of you. When you read this letter, you should have received a small gift from me in honor of your return. I know of your love for travel, this mechanical planisphere, created by the best craftsman cabinet maker in London, should please you. It is a type of safe. I ask for the combination to be personalized. You will easily remember it. Your loving father. This woman is admirable. 
As she was unable to have children of her own, she decided to care for hundreds of others. Hmm. Interesting. This screw is stuck. It is preventing the picture from turning. Hmm. The blackboard shows the last lesson given to the children. Ancient Greek. This screw is stuck. All right, let's uh, let's find something to cooking oil. Okay, but first I gotta take a look at this. Find the logical sequence in Roman numerals using all the available shafts. None of the numbers should be greater than ten. Each sum must be larger than the previous one. You can only use number x once. Um. I will get back to you later. The door handle. That's It's a curious. sweet box. Probably for rewarding. The door handle. Well, maybe the ore lock. The door handle. No? But, but, but not the ore lock? Okay. Please take note, Watson. We are making headway. How do we know what this means? I don't know. What is it? Lord Beckett's note? Uh, that's an excellent question. There is no point in visiting the upper floors. We know from the newspapers that this building is deserted, so there is no risk of anyone coming down and surprising. Very true. Would the little joker who has borrowed the sweet cupboard's door handle please return it without delay? If the handle is back in its place before the end of the week, no one will be punished. If not, I will be obligated to place the whole class in detention. There are naughty children in every school, from what I can... Indeed. Anyway, um... This room is undoubtedly the judge's office. It is double locked. It would be better not to force this door, nor break a window. You're right. But he surely must have left a spare with somebody he trusts, of course. His wife? Yes. I think I should check these jackets. James. This overall belongs to the young James. Sweet papers fallen from a pupil's overall pocket. Come on. It can't be that obvious. This plan is useless. This plan is useless. <laughs> what? Then why is it telling me this to click on it? A book about student organizations in the United States of America. Hmm. All right, let's get the cooking oil. A desire to cook. You could say that. And uh, I can't move. There we are. Speaking of, why is the oven left on when there's no one in here? Very curious. Ten.
No, oh, it was six. In Bombay. It is a wedding present. This is a photo of the judge and his wife. I know it's the six. Clock, the clock points to six p.m. Apparently, they were unmarried at the time. I cannot see a wedding. Okay, so that wasn't the wedding. This photograph was taken on Judge Beckett's Big Ben. The judge got married in London and early in the morning, as it is just ten a.m. This seems like a weird time to get married. All right. 10 o'clock in London. That's not it. Perfect. There we go. It is a wedding. All right. Um. How do I open it? Um, that accomplished nothing. But I know, but why? Anyway, um, I'm gonna use this cooking oil. I'm gonna use this cooking oil and, uh, yeah, grease up this here board. All right, now let's turn it. Greek letters. Copy them down, dear fellow. Very well, Holmes. What do you think, Holmes? What do I do? I'm giving no sense of direction. Why are there bloody handprints on those papers? God, I can't figure this out. Alright, so, I'm a big dumb idiot. I fail to realize that the numbers go on. So, if it's 10 a.m. in London, it is 6 p.m. in Bombay. Perfect. Military time! Because there we I are. know what that it is, is like. It is simplicity itself. Ah, found a key. A key. Yay! Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go to the judge's room, the judge's room, the judge's room. Why am I still carrying cake? I don't flip a note. Oh. Yes. Oh. Okay, so what are we supposed <laughs> to do? I think we might have to go. We have to search hey! thoroughly. Hey! No means no. Tree? No. No. Okay, Do not touch have, me. Do not touch me. We have to search each room thoroughly, so... What room? 